guys want to get one together? Yeah, we can get one together. One where you talk together too, I can. Yeah, I don't want people to know that I know Keith. Yeah. Because I know they all know him. <laughs> yeah. well, they'll be one. Hey, how do I get to I Keith? Know, can I you know. get me up? <laughs> <laughs> is he really as cool in person as he is on, the, on his videos? All that crap. <laughs> and I have to lie, and I don't like lying. So. <laughs> Says he doesn't have any friends. No friends. His wife pretends he, she likes him. <laughs> With my bleed. All right, guys, Model Rocks 321 here. This is a big launch day. We have a special guest today. We got this famous guy right here, Mob Rocketry, Michael O'Brien. You can check his YouTube channel out. We're going to drag race the So Longs today. We have some support here today. We're going to need some eyes on these rockets. We got Michael's wife. We got Marcy, my wife. We got Mr. Excel, extraordinary good friend of mine. He came out to help with spotting this rocket because they're going to go really high, 3,000 feet or so. Ain't that what they say, Mike? Something like that. 3,500. Yeah, so let's go pretty good. Going to go pretty high. Um, so we're setting up here. We're going to get these rockets going in a quick second, and I'm going to show you what we got going on. We got the so long. We're going F15 zeros to F15 eights. Our good friend here. Look what he's running. He's running umbilical, something real cool. I usually do this when I do like boost gliders and stuff. But he's running on this. Keep the wires up nice and high. That is real cool right there. And I'm over here, and we got fire extinguisher today, which I forgot mine in the car but Mike remembered his. So here, I'm gonna run just straight into the um, rocket from the ground, that's my so long. And there's Michael O'Brien so long. As we do our final preps, we're gonna get this going. It's Model Rock 321. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, subscribe to Michael O'Brien's channel, which the link will be in the description. Check his channel out, guys. He got some good stuff going on. It's a hot day, so we're here to do this one launch, stage these rockets, and get out of here. It's going to be 321 degrees today, <laughs> so <laughs> you'll see one flight and enjoy. Let's get this going. Smile Rocks 321. Also, use the Estes discount, IN underscore 321. Go over there, shop, buy yourself a so long, put some stuff in the cart, put that code in, get a discount. Smile Rockets 3, 2, and 1. By the way, Mike's trying to cheat a little bit. His rocket's up a little bit higher, so if he if he's up a little bit higher, I'm just just saying, up a little bit higher. <laughs> yeah, but yours is you're up there a good six inches. I'm down low. I'm way down here. He's way. He's already starting. He's already starting 100 feet in the air. So, <laughs> my rock three, two, one. All right, here we go. We got the so long rockets. Range is clear. Sky is clear. Going in five, four. Three, two, one. All right, we got staging. Wow, way up there. Okay, here comes your, here comes the booster. All right, waiting on, all right. There's a puff of smoke. Wow, where is that? The boosters are down. All right, rocket, I do not, I see, I saw the puff. I don't see mine at all. I don't see nothing. Keep your eye on it. You got to know what direction and where. Wow. All right, the so long rockets are up. I heard that the fins are on the ground. I don't see my streamers. I don't see Mike's streamers. He has some flashy ones. They have reflective material on it. So you can keep an eye on that. I saw the puff of uh, pink right there, that cloud. Would they be on the ground by now? All right, so they're brightly painted. We know the direction to go in though. Michael, you think they would be on the ground by now? You think so? Yeah. Well, we don't see the so longs. That's why they named them so long, because it's like so long. <laughs> so the so longs are missing in action right now. Fins are on the ground. Rock is probably on the ground, but far away. Hopefully not in the street. We're gonna have to look for those. My rock three, two, one. 
All right, guys, my Rock 321 here. So the so long is out of sight. I don't have it. Just recovered the fins. We both have our fins. Mike just recovered his. He's over there, and I just recovered mine. But the rockets are gone. One thing I did have contact information on mine, so if somebody finds it, they can call me, and I could possibly get it back. But who knows? It went beyond that building over there. So I'm still thinking about going over there, taking a look. It's going to be a hot day, so I don't know. It's so long is over there somewhere. Model Rock 321. Be right back. So we just launched the So Long Rockets and we just lost the So Long Rockets. Myself and Michael O'Brien. So Michael, what do you think? What do you think about that launch? Um, what, do you, what, can you, what do you remember from the launch actually? Like, well, they place? both, interestingly, both rockets cocked to the east. Uh, you know, usually there's design determines sometimes which way they go. Mm -hmm. Both of them went the same direction yeah. to the east, boosted, and then kept going. Yep. And I'm pretty sure, I'll bet we hit 3,000 feet, but they, wow. we lost sight of both of them. Yeah, so long, gone. they named it appropriately. So long, <laughs> yes. We have our um, fins though. We do have our fin cans at the booth that we have. See, he recovered yep. his and I have mine. Yep, so. it got beat pretty good here. Okay. There's lots yep, of exhaust right. on the fin. Yeah. Motor's still in. Yep. Crunch the fin here from the landing. Yeah, wow, mine had none of that. Mine was like, yeah, pretty, mine it was like a clean. Hard. Did yeah. your motor eject? Motor was in there. Okay. Motor's in. Yours in. Yeah, so that was good there. Motor's yeah. in. But so, yeah, yeah, that's all that's left of the and, so long. Yep. You have to build another one. For sure. That's this hobby, though, right? Yeah, you, you exactly. Can lose some stuff. <laughs> and we both lost altimeters. So, yeah. Yeah. You've resigned, I was resigned to the fact that this we could were going to come out here and this could happen. Yeah, yeah it could happen. Yeah, you got to yeah. know. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. part of this. It's part of this hobby. Yes. You're going to lose some stuff. You're going to crash something. <laughs> you're going to have to fix something. You're always doing something. Like, exactly. But no shelf queens, though. No shelf queens. Okay, Except well, for a that's couple. Up to you. A couple. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got yours. A couple. I have a couple shelf queens, but I fly, fly most. I fly most. But in this big open space right here, you know, usually get them back. First loss, I think. My first loss. Is it really? It's so long, yeah. Oh, yeah. First time we've ever Estes. tried to hit. Come on, Estes. Send feet. us a new one, Estes, you guys. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Send us a new one. Come on. You guys made us do this. About Rock 321. Subscribe to the channel. We'll be back with more. Alright guys, so we think Mike found his rocket. I spotted it from over there. Something green reflective. Let's see. He had a shiny green streamer. And what do we have? Ah, no, no, no streamer, my lar. Ah, but scan around while we're out here. Scan around. False call guy. Thought we had found one of them, but we didn't. Ah, search continues. Yeah, these are. I think these got water in them. All right, so it's debriefing time. You all saw what just took place. It was still a great, great day. It was a lot of fun getting out there early and launching that single rocket. It would have been nice to get it back, but the so long is so long. It is gone. It is gone as of right now. Got the fins back. Both of our rockets stage popped the fins. That bright orange really stuck out. I'm telling you guys, don't use the black. Go with something really bright if you do this. Um, I think that 3,000 feet, it says 3,600 feet. I think that's true. We staged from F-15 zeros to F-15 eights. Saw the eight second tracking smoke. Saw the big puff of cloud when it popped. That big pink, um, the pink dust that I put in there. Um, I'll show you that. I put this stuff right here inside the rocket. And when it ejects up that high, you'll see it. Because if it didn't have this, it would have been very hard to see even though even with this i thought that this would have been the end all to be like okay you can see it and you can start tracking it but it's just too small up there even for that size of rocket um just too small you know once it stays it's still too small up that high three thousand feet or so um so long gone i went and i searched for it i went beyond those buildings i went all back there driving up and down Went home, even got the drone, put the drone up, um, searching some of the rooftops. I searched, I searched that whole area and did not find it. I'm just hoping somebody 
come, finds it, who somebody finds it and see the number and they call me. Not only did I lose the rocket, I lost my altimeter too. That was in the payload bay, man. That was in there. So I already have a new one of these coming. Um, but the so long rocket is gone. I would do it again, and I told Mike we would move out further because we moved kind of to my normal area for the low power stuff and the, you know slightly mid, you know the ease and you no know, D's and E's, like right in that area. And it's usually pretty good, but we have to go further. It would be west. You got to go way, get way out there. I got to get way out there in the center of that field. Nice calm morning, and we should be good. But the rocket, it kind of weather cocked a little. It at their stage, it was kind of arched over. It was high up, but it was like a little. It wasn't straight arrow. It was kind of arching over. So um, when that stage, when it staged off, it was. It would mean when it ejected, when the ejection, when the uh, recovery system came out, it was just so high we couldn't even see it. Like so, SD did a. They did a good job. So this is like a right of right of passage rocket here. If you can get this back. <laughs> if you can get it back, you're doing something. I mean, as long as it don't arch over. If you go straight, you're pretty good. But it arched that little weather cocking. It went into that little breeze, a tiny little breeze out there. But I think up higher, you know, these things, they fight the wind. So when they're going up, they push into the wind. And um, once that when the uh, recovery system came out, couldn't really see it. If you spotted it, you were good. But it was just hard to see. It was a clear blue sky, but just so high up and tiny. Didn't even see it. Um, here's one of the E. What's this? No, this is the F. This is the F. Um, the F-15-8, this was in the, um, in the upper stage, the sustainer. This is my e, um, E-16-0, because I was going to go E-16-0 initially, but my, he had one, I was like, let's do the same thing. So we launched the same rocket, um, same same setup, and they performed the same. Mine took off slightly ahead of his, but they were like on trail together. You know, it was nice to see, but they are gone, man. So the so long rocket is gone. And you know what? I would build this again. So now I only have to build, <laughs> since I have my boosters and they're in good shape, I only have to build, you know, from here up. So I would be in, in decent, um, in decent shape um, to not have to, have to do um, anything, anything extra. So, so I'm, um, you know, in, in decent shape when it comes to that. And I would do this again. I would, like I said, give it another shot and um, just to see how it goes. So it was, um, it was a fun day. But I'm gonna get this engine out of here. This engine is in here. It's a friction fit. So I put tape on there galore just to hold it in tight let's see if I can get it yeah it's not too yeah it's coming out not too bad it's in there yeah so here we go we got the engine um or the spent casing now yep f15 zero so we do this tape deal yeah man look at that so pretty good pretty good mine Michael his has got kind of beat up mine pretty good I can barely see I see these little marks here I can barely you know barely a ding or a dent i mean pretty much anything so this is good to go like if I'll, I'll rebuild and like i said i'll build it the same i'll do but i would not um i wouldn't fill any would i wouldn't fill any spirals i would just build it just to get it back up like I said, this is the big payload section here i'll use the same color scheme i'll do it again i'll do it again call it the so long two <laughs> so long 2.0 because like i said it's fun to fly and that's just like something i want to do i want to try to get it um want to get it um, successful, want to get it launched and brought back home. But man, what a flight, what a day, it was a fun launch. And thank you guys for joining in. Drop a comment, hit the thumb up, support the channel, drop a donation. Drop a donation, I got PayPal, I got the Cash App, anything you guys can do to help out with this channel. Um, I appreciate it. So, that being said, I'm going to go on and close this out. It's Model Rock 321. Be sure to, if you are not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. I'll bring you some more. We're going to do this again. We're going to get back out there once I get another one. Because I only had one. I had the one. This is the one that Estes, um, they had gifted to me to, you know, to unbox and everything, which I did. And I have a build video of this, too. I have a whole build video of how, how I made it. A nice performance. 40, 46 inches tall. It's a, you know, decent-sized rocket. Streamer recovery. But I would do some things different, though. I would build it the same. I probably would go with... I don't know, man, maybe a smaller shoot. I don't know. No, I don't know. It's something you want to be able to see it. So it's going to be, it's going to be tricky because you cannot see it. Or I couldn't see it. It was hard to see. Nobody saw it. They vanished. They pretty much vanished. So all the puff of uh, pink, the dust which I showed you. But after that, vanished. Could not see it. So I think I know air. This, it wasn't where I was looking. I even put the drone up, searched all those rooftops, flying a drone, even in parts of the field. Then just beyond the building that you saw in the video, I, I Flew the drone, looked on top of those buildings. It's stuff over there. I mean, I went, I drove back there. I did not see it. And if it's past where I was looking, 
that's pretty far and I may make another trip just to go look again because I'm getting kind of tempted I want to look again just to just to know that I looked again yeah, just to know that I looked again but anyway I'm gonna close this out model rock three two one thanks for tuning in be sure to subscribe to uh, mob rockets um, check his channel out too all right it's model rock three two one I'm out